Ray Bradbury is probably best known for his prolific career as a science fiction author, penning such classics as Fahrenheit 451 and The Illustrated Man. But in addition to being known for his novels and short stories, he's also highly regarded as a playwright. Recently, Mr. Bradbury graciously invited us into his Los Angeles home to talk about the recent revival of his 1954 play, Falling Upward, which takes place in the contemporary Ireland of that earlier era. Well, the summertime is coming And the leaves are sweetly blooming And the wild mountain time Blows around the blooming heather I arrived in Ireland knowing Nothing about all of them. It's 55 years ago now. And John Houston brought me there to write the screenplay of Moby Dick. It was quite an adventure. Yeah. And when I got home from Ireland, about three months, a voice spoke in my head, and a voice said, Ray, darling. And I said to that voice, Who is it? And the voice said, Why, it's Mick, your cab driver, that drove you from Dublin to Kilcack and back 80 or 90 times. Do you remember that, Ray? I said, yes. And the voice said, would you mind putting it down? So I began to write my Irish plays. I put them all together into Falling Upward, and it's my greatest Irish play so far. In those days, the pub was the center of the community, and Bradbury wasted no time in immersing himself in the local culture. I went to Heber Finn's pub in Kilcock quite a few times, and I used Heber Finn's name in this play, Falling Upward, and his pub is at the center of the play. I knew that pub very well, and I knew all the people that lived in that pub, and a lot of the names that appear in my play were the names of people that were in that pub 55 years ago. And during the first act of Falling Upward, Heber Finn's is indeed a very traditional Irish pub, filled with the laughter, singing, and camaraderie that can only develop after years, if not generations. I'm always thinking how to gain my love's company. Though the night be dark as dungeons, not a star to be seen above. But the second act brings a surprise. Visitors who at first appear to have nothing in common with the locals. Well... I talked to an Irish priest in a pub one night, and we somehow brought up the subject of gay people, and I told the Irish priest, I'm very lucky. A gay man has been at the center of my life. Charles Lawton, one of the greatest actors ever on the screen, became my friend and got me to writing a screen a stage adaptation of Fahrenheit 451. So for Charles Lawton, I began to write for the theater as well as Bernard Shaw. But Charles Lawton never mentioned the fact that he was gay, but I knew it, and at the center of my life was a curiosity about gay people and how they functioned and where they went and what they did. So at the center of the play falling upward, this group of people were gay following somewhere around the world suddenly appear in the center of the play. So that's one of the most delightful things I think about the play. At first, the pub patrons react as though they're caught in an entirely different Bradbury story, confronted with aliens from another planet. However, as this comedic fable progresses, there's a subtle shift in perspective, and when the visitors ultimately leave, a little bit of summer is left behind. We asked Mr. Bradbury if he intended to make a statement with the story of Falling Upward. Nothing in my life and writing is intentional. I do not write my stories I do not write my plays, my characters write them, so there's no intent. I don't ask my characters, why are you telling me this? I just listen to them. So 
the gay people came to me and told me what they wanted to say. I listened to them and I put it down. So I didn't write the play. The gay people wrote the play. Hebert Finn told me exactly what he wanted to say about the world, about women, about priests, and I listened to him. So he wrote the play too. There's no message. I don't believe in messages. I wrote Fahrenheit 451 about not burning books. There's a message there. But I didn't think of the message. It came to me from the fire chief. So all my characters tell me what they want to hear. It's not what I want to hear. And the gay people told me, here we are, watch us dance, watch us sing, watch us walk. So I watched it. And they ended up in Falling Upward. That's right. The play opens in Los Angeles at the El Portal Theater on February 27, 2009, with plans for subsequent productions in other cities in both the United States and Ireland. Pat Harrington, best known for his role as Schneider in the U.S. TV series One Day at a Time, is the narrator Garrity, one of over 20 actors who make up the ensemble cast of Falling Upward. More information about the show is available at www.raybradburysfallingupward.com. All I can say is, gangway, here we come. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to be there every night for months, loving the play and loving the actors. For IMRU, this is Chris Wilson. Special thanks not only to my co-producer, Christopher David Trentum, and Ken O'Malley, whose music you've been hearing, but to Mr. Ray Bradbury, whose characters invite us all to Heber Finn's Pub, where laughter is abundant and visitors are welcome. <laughs>